original building automation system was a traditional building automation system that was about 25 years old. Really, its only function was temperature control, and you can only access the system from one particular location. We tried to standardize on equipment, we standardized on system types, um, obviously controls. It is an open system. It's BACnet, and it uses almost all Siemens products. There is more than probably 1,200 of Siemens uh, DXR type controllers. Those are the BACnet IP-based controllers. We've got TC controllers, variable frequency drives, and somewhere just south of 2,500 of their pressure independent control valves. It kind of adds up. The whole system itself is a lot more efficient than what it would be with a standard control valve and a separate balancing valve. There is you know, the latest server technology, automatic backups. You have cloud backups, uh, more storage capacity for trending. It's more information to more stakeholders instantly. With Siemens, we're able to use the ABT site tool to program everything in our office. And more than just programming, what we're able to verify is, okay, great, there's no controller failures, there's no lockups. So then we don't install it and then find out after the owner comes in that something's not working correctly. Any person that works at South could go work at East, could go work at West, it wouldn't matter. It's the exact same systems at each of the three schools. I'm very proud of this job. By standardizing equipment, we've just reduced that maintenance down to minimal amount. It's paramount for a school district of this size or any school district that has multiple buildings to be able to reduce their energy costs by utilizing a sophisticated control system, show them how to work the system, what it can do, and how to use it to best optimize the best energy savings for the district. And I think that's, that's been done.